Good afternoon. Wheelers at large, out again. Uh, right after work. It's apparently going to rain the rest of the week, so we thought, got to take the opportunity. Yeah, let's get out tonight. Yeah. Full on. Yeah. It's all a bit rush hour -y. I wonder if we could ride and just not go in the shade. That'd be all right. All right, guys, a little quick look at the velodrome. Not really my area of expertise, it has to be said. Not sure what is, to be honest, but um, this is the wrong bike anyway. We'll get, we'll get people annoyed in the comments because we're using geared bikes on a velodrome. Uh, yeah, so it's not loud. In. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> He's determined. Yeah, so I'm not going to go around the velodrome on this bike because obviously it's got gears and that's not the done thing apparently with a velodrome. So uh, I might bring my single speed down early in the morning there. Just see how it is. Never ridden around a velodrome before. So that'd be interesting. Possibly. Anyway, we're sort of, um, well, I don't know where we're going actually. I'm following Julie at the moment, but apparently there's been an occurrence that we might have mentioned in an earlier video. More about that when we get there. Listen to that. Yeah. I think that's right. Dead quiet bike. It's quite fresh, which is nice. Clean, crisp air. Somebody said that this bollard has been painted. Well, would you look at that? Somebody did it. Somebody's tried to sort it out. Really what a good job. I do like the factual sort of content in your comments, John Hatfield. Very good. You saw a pile of dirt out here. That's gone. Was it gone? Put it back there, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Maybe there is just one pile of dirt and it just gets moved around the country. That's very possible, Mike. Yeah. No, it's definitely looking tidier. Changes a little bit every time. Wow. Looks like Madam's going to take me through the rough stuff again. Off to uh, Camford Heath by the look of it. Oh yeah, you can. Do you want to get it out? Do you want to get your 360 out, should I say? Yeah, that's what you meant to say. Wasn't it, it was what I meant to say, yes. Last it to start recording, it made noise. So let's assume it is. 
The funniest thing about that is that if I tell my camera to switch off, it might just do mics as well. That is very true. You can go that way. <laughs> Let's go. A good, great haul. Oh, bit of sand. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> I think I did it better than the other day. And a skid to stop. It's good to stop. No. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a great hole on that one. Well, you said uh, we could have come along there. Oh, right. Okay. I did look at it, um, but there was a hole. Okay. Yeah. Right, what we got? We got a ditch, scratchy legs. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't like the look of that. <laughs> you don't like the look of that. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I, need to get lower. <laughs> I don't think you should even try it. <laughs> How difficult is that? Not. It's not, is it? Not. What is wrong with me? Well, I'm either going to go full send on this, or I'm going to go double collarbone. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. Honestly, that was just the easiest thing in the world. How stupid is that? It wasn't. It was. It was so simple. Just shows how we're out of practice with the off-road stuff, doesn't it? Well... We haven't done off-road for a long time, so I'm not surprised. I must admit, on the orange bike, I'd have probably just gone straight down it because it's it's built for more off-roady stuff than this. But all the same, it wasn't difficult. Judy's found some bumpy bits. Traction's an issue. Skiddy. Skiddy, Are you? Yeah. Just a bit, where's that go? Where's he go? Where's that go? Don't mess about. Think about it too much. Honestly. Keep going. You you had it. 
you'd finished, you'd got to the bottom. It's flat from there. <laughs> That's it. Well done. Oh, very sandy. Again, traction issues. Get up there. Come on. That's it. There it is. This is a little bit steep again. I was just getting ready for some squealing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good bit of fun on the mountain bike trails. You know, nothing too difficult. Definitely need to get back in the habit of the off-road stuff. A little bit of an easy ride tonight. Just, um, yeah, a quick ride before tea time, as it were. We are, what, quarter past six, so we'll go home, have some tea, shower, day's done, and start again tomorrow. Bit of a stress reliever more than anything else today. You know, nothing too exciting. A uh, little bit of fun on the mountain bike tracks, though. That was good. But let's be honest, mountain bikes are just um, glorified 90s gravel bikes, aren't they? Is that how that works? <laughs> so, but yeah, that was good fun. Good fun. Anyway, Julie's not made it. I might have to go back up and see where she is. But it's usually her that jumps into the queue at the roundabout. <laughs> and it's usually me that gets left behind, but not today. Let's go and find her. I've got to go and catch her now. Did I manage it? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Getting better at this. I managed to switch my back light on while under my saddle. Have a guess what I'm thinking about? Fishing chips. <laughs> I can smell it. Let's have a bomb down here. Let's go. Woo! -hoo! Saddle's a bit low today because I'm not wearing padding. So the thighs are starting to burn a little bit. Come on, keep that power up, Julie. See the end. Still got a green. If you've watched this far into the video thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one